another chance. Mr. Clark, you have your time now. President, I have recently been in contact with the President of the Caravan Club of Great Britain. He is most concerned about this possible new legislation. I am horrified. I don't know how many other people here I speak for, but I was a caravanner for many years and belonged to the caravan club, not to attend their gatherings and rallies and so on, but to obtain advice, information, tips on how to tow. I hardly used my caravan in the UK. I brought it across the channel and had my holidays here. I've towed it all the way from Calais to the south of France. I've taken over the Alps into Italy. I've gone round the Alps in, in Switzerland and other places all without an accident of any description, nor did I see one with any other caravan, nor did I see a caravan on a caravan site which is obviously damaged in an accident. Why? Because I took my caravan for servicing myself every year. I didn't want to part company with my caravan down a German autobahn, neither does anybody else. Do you not understand that if a caravan is not in good order and has an accident of its own, like snaking, like suddenly departing from its pre-designed course, then it takes the car with it and everybody in the car will suffer injury if not death. Caravanners, in spite of what they might look, are not mad. They will look after their caravans for the sake of their own neck. And this proposed regulation is completely superfluous and I will oppose it with all my strength. Serbia. Thank you.